Hello and a very warm welcome to Sor of Sor's classes. The topic for today is geology and geophysics. Don't get confused. We will actually pick up those questions that are common to both geology and geophysics and we'll try and solve them. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the tutorial. The question is, this is our first question. It reads as S wave shadow zone of the earth ranges from and there has provided us with range. So let me talk about different shadow zones etc. And then we will try and answer this question. So shadow zone or you can even say seismic shadow zone is actually in the earth surface is the area where Seismic gauze are not detected. And this is not detected. Okay, just a second. Not detected by the seismographs. Okay. Now the P wave. I know this is not definitely or strongly what is asked in the question but if you know this it will be better because I just wanted to add on a little bit so that all the extra information or related information should be known by you is given by 103 degrees to 143 degrees from the epicenter and for S wave shadow zone shadow zone you have 103 degrees to 180 degrees from epicenter so this would have been the correct answer provided it was p wave shadow zone However, the correct answer here is option number A. Moving on. So the next question is, which one of the following parent-daughter system has the longest half-life? So let us find out. So I'll write the parent-daughter system one by one. And then what I'll do is that I'll write the corresponding values or I'll make a separate column and what I'll write in that separate column is the half lives okay so let me jot down this first this is 87 this is also 87 and this is 107 and the other is 107 so half life column here is our half life column this is in GA so this is 106.0, 1.25, 48.8 and the last one becomes 41.6. That means the correct answer will be this. That means option number A. Now let us read the next question. The next question says for a soil liquidity index is given by this where what is the X here denotes. Okay. So let me give brief you a little bit. Now, Atterberg limit is the basic measure of the critical water content of fine grained soils and these soils are called the Atterberg limits fine grained soil that's it so this will be the very definition now these are two kinds shrinkage limit so shrinkage limit is the water content where further loss of moisture 
will not result in any more volume reduction and lastly so this is a and then b is the plastic limit now the plastic limit of the soil is the moisture content expressed as a percentage of the weight of the over dry soil at the boundary between plastic and semi solid status of consistency so if i want to rewrite this particular formula it will look something like this so let me write it down so liquid liquidity index can be written as natural water content less plastic limit by plasticity index that means the correct answer the word that will fill this particular blank is option number b so i hope this short tutorial on geology and geophysics was helpful if yes then don't forget to hit the like button do subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching